This is a fighter jet. This is boring. This is flex worthy. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up, what's up? Yes, I will teach you how to make this jet engine nozzle mechanics. Let's do this! By the way, if you want to build jets like this, you may want to try starting with my jet nose tutorial. So, okay? Alright, in your existing jet, color the upper middle nozzle blocks for marker. Then delete the other nozzle blocks. It should look like this. If you have other blocks like this, move them inside. Now it's clean. If you have an existing sensor block, load it out just under the nozzle blocks. If no sensor block, place a block but make sure it's at the center of the jet engine. That's why center blocks are important when building something like this. Now select the nozzle blocks and the center block last. Then with move 10, move one time like this. Check match rotation. Place servo like this on the back part of the nozzle block. Make sure it's not binded to a seat or switch or button. Actually for a while, make sure the mechanics is not connected to anything. And check match rotation, place block in the servo. With move 0.5, move one time like this. The nozzle blocks should not be touching the white block of the servo, should only be the dark block. So I move the servo like this. Now the blocks are connected only with the dark block, not with the white block. And the dark block should not be touching this block, okay? With scale 0.5, scale one time downwards. Place piston under, place block under the piston. Move the center block for a while, I use move 10 again. Save and reload. Select all this, except this one. Then uncheck anchor, press the piston. Check anchor of these blocks again. Place four guide blocks like this on the center block. With scale 12, scale the guide blocks one time like this. With trowel tool, select all these blocks. Make sure to select guide block last. Change move to 20. Then clone these blocks like this. Then move it back, but do not release the blocks yet. Switch to rotate. Here I will use rotate 15 because I use rotate 15 in this jet nose and jet body. But if you use for example rotate 5 or 30 or any number for your jet nose or engine, you should use rotate 5 or 30 for this nozzle mechanics. So yeah, here I will use rotate 15. Now rotate one time. Delete the clone guide blocks. And delete the center block for a while. Now do the cloning process again. But this time rotate two times. Then cloning process again. This time rotate four times. Delete these blocks. Now clone again. But we gonna rotate here now. Six times. Delete these blocks. Now move it back, clone again, move one more time. Now rotate to invert this, should look like this. Delete these blocks, move it back, now replace a center block, delete the guide blocks. With move 10, move back the center block one time, place piston on the center block, Place block on the piston. Then with scale 0.5, scale the block like this. Place block on the top of the center block. With scale 0.5, scale the block like this. With scale 1, reduce scale one time. Yeah. Mirror this block. With scale 0.5, reduce scale like this. Then scale to connect this to these blocks. Save and reload. Select these blocks except for this one. And check anchor. Press the piston, then check anchor again. With move 10, move the mechanics back one time. Place a switch, 
This is an assemble switch, only for the pistons, okay? Servos should not be connected with the assemble switch, so select all these servos and unbind it with the assemble switch. Turn off collision of the mechanics. Change servo angle to 5, but if your build can, you can also use 20 if you want. But me, I need to use 5 for this. Place button. This is for the servos. Now place a thrusters on the center of the engine. So here, I started placing on the center block, clone the thrusters, then move them to the jet engine. But don't forget guys to bind the thrusters to the button. Yes, the buttons for the servos. Of course, make the mechanics transparent. Now, let's test this! Click the switch. The nozzle should look like this. Like a normal one, actually. Alright, look at that! Awesome, right? Smooth! This is how it looks while flying! Oh! So fast! yee -haw! Really flex-worthy, guys! So it adds more realism to the jet! By the way, if you gonna do this on a twin-engine jet, I simply double or triple this assembled piston so that the nozzle mechanics for both engines will not touch each other. Alright! I hope you like this, guys. By the way, if you are not yet subscribed, please subscribe now and click the notification bell. Please like and share the video. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye-bye!